Hi and welcome. My name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes, we're going to take a look at how easy it is to find your images based on the filter settings in Lightroom. So in this folder of images, if I scroll down, we can see that I have given some of the images one star ratings. What I'd like to do is I'd like to quickly see all of the images that have one stars. So while I'm in the grid view, we can see the options for different ways to filter across the top. If the filter bar isn't showing, it might be that you've inadvertently tapped the backslash key. If so, just tap the backslash key again in order to reveal it. Then, to filter based on stars, I'll click on the attribute option and then click on one star, and we can see the results in the grid below. Now, I could quickly go in and select those images that I like and give them two stars if I want to promote some of these. So I'll just select a few of them and then give them two stars by tapping the two key. Now, if I want to filter on two stars, because right now you can see here that I'm actually filtering on one star or greater, but if I want to filter on two stars or greater, I simply click on the second star and we can see the results of that filtering. If I want to turn off the filter, I simply click none. Of course, I can filter on a folder of images or I can filter on all of my photographs. In this case, I'm going to move over to the catalog area and click all photographs. Then when I click on the metadata area in the filter bar, we can see just how powerful filtering can be. For example, I can filter based on date. So for example here, let's say I want to view only the images that I took in 2013 or maybe 2014, or maybe just on February 3rd. Let's back up to 2014, and then we can see that I can narrow down or refine that filter based on a specific camera. And then I can refine it even further, maybe on a specific lens. And you can see that there are a number of additional options that we can use to filter, and we can even add additional columns if needed. In fact, I can also add the text or attribute option. So maybe I want to keep all of these filters, plus I only want to see those images that are two star or greater, and Lightroom shows me the results right here below. So as you can see, filtering is extremely powerful in Lightroom, and in fact, if we were going to filter on specific attributes over and over again, then I would use this drop-down menu here to save the current settings as a new preset. Once we do this, it would go ahead and add it to this list so I could quickly filter with specific items over and over again. One other thing to point out, I'll click None here to remove the filter, and then down on top of the film strip, you'll notice that I can also filter on a limited number of attributes, such as stars or custom filters like any presets that I've saved. And the reason that you can filter in two different areas is because when you move to the other modules, like the develop module, if you've forgotten to filter the images before you move to that module, this filter strip right here remains constant throughout those other modules, so that you don't have to continuously move back to the library module in order to filter your images. So there you have it, an easy way to filter your images in Lightroom. My name is Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.